To my channel, I'm Ms. Ruxon. This is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing another album review, and today we're kicking all the way back to 2007 to Britney Spears's Blackout. So let's just jump right in with "Give Me More." I'll say one of my favorite songs, and let's listen. Such a good song. I would give this a 10 out of 10. It's so freaking good. And the way it just starts off is Britney, bitch. I love that. And I just love the beat. I love her albums. I love the little breakdowns. And then I like um, the danger talking in the back. On towards the back end of the song. That's really good as well. Everything about the song is so freaking good. And it's a really good workout song. Really good workout song. So the next song we're going to listen to is Piece of Me.
Another really, really good song. Um, instead of doing um, grades on it, um, instead of doing, like, doing 10 out of 10, I just, want to, I just want to do A through, well, F through A. You know, A through F. You know what I mean, my grading system. So I'll give this one uh, A of too much um, auto-tune on it, but, you know, it's fine. I mean, I still like the song a lot, so. Um, and I like the message behind the song because, like, just like if you want piece, if you want a piece of me, you gotta step in line because the paparazzi's flipping me off. People are, are judging me for um, stripping on the streets. She just says stripping or tripping. I'm not sure on that. I've heard this song a lot, and just like like doesn't matter where I go, people always want a piece a piece of me, whether I'm this I'm too thin or I'm too big or whatever. People are always judging her. They always want a piece of her. So that's very true of how she was back then. People have kind of cooled off a little bit now, but back in 2000, like 2000, probably 2011 and all the way to the beginning of her career, she's always kind of scrutinized, which is really unfair considering all the other people were not given the same treatment as her. So anyway, the next song is called Radar. So let's listen. Another really, really good song. I really did like this song a lot. And, um, I like the B. I like the Alice. I like the little thing she did at the end because I'm not going to try to imitate because I'm not a good singer. Period. I'm a good lip singer, but I'm not a good singer. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I really did like this song. And I'll give this uh, another A. And the next song is the awesome song Break the Ice. So, let's listen to that.
Another brilliant song. I love this song so freaking much. I love it's like the choir at the at the beginning. I like how they kind of um they're kind of featured throughout the entire track. I really do like that a lot. The beat is insane. I love the beat, and I love the I just love everything about this song. It's obviously a plus 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 plus. So freaking good. Um. And I just, I just love everything about this song. The breakdown is so good. The olives are good. Just everything about it is really good. And I love how the breakdown um, stay for a little bit longer than um, other songs. Most songs, then when they have a breakdown, it's usually about 15 to 20 seconds or something like that. This one kind of stayed for about 45 seconds, which I really did appreciate. And then it started changing up and started building back up, which was so freaking good. I freaking loved it. Uh, the next song is going to be... Have, oh, before we do that, um, one thing I noticed between Piece of Me and Break the Ice, it has weird animal sounds, which I actually kind of like, because uh, Piece of Me has like a chicken, and then Break the Ice kind of has like a cat, meowing. <laughs> so anyway, um, I do like that a lot. So um, the next song we're going to be listening to is Heaven on Earth. This song is very hard because um, actually I listened to the demo when it first got online and I infinitely love that more than this this version because at the 23 second mark, I don't know what dummy added in that extra bass in there, but that person should have been fired because it's so freaking annoying because this is honestly uh, at the highest of B plus song with the demo with this is going down to a like a C or a D. I hate that damn bass in there. It's so annoying. It's at the 23 second mark. If you listen to the song, you get 23 second mark. When they add that little thing in there, it pisses me off. I do not like that sound, period. But other than that, everything else about it is has the potential to be a really good song. They should have just kept the demo. The way it was. So anyway, um, but other than that, the Alice were good. I like how it kind of um, fades out. I really did like that. And she was hitting some really good notes in the last um, 45 seconds of it. But that, just that one little thing, it just, ugh, makes the song unlistenable for me. Anyway, so the next song is called Get Naked, I Got a Plan. Thank you. 
Another good song. I'll give this a B plus. Um, it just um, I don't know. It's just a little tweak something I just didn't really like. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, I don't know. It's even hard to even pinpoint it. But it's still a good song. I, I love the I love the instrumental. Um, for most parts, that's probably what it is. some of the instrumental I just didn't like that much. Um, but we could tweak it a little bit. Um, but other than that, really good song that her hours are good, and she was popping some notes, which were good. And this song is hella dirty, obviously. It's called Get Naked. But, um, I do like the song, and, um, so yeah. So the next song we listen to is Freak Show. So let's listen to that. Also, the song brought in dubstep elements in it, along with Peace of Me. Another really, really good song. I really liked it. I love the dubstep influence it has on the song. And that, um, because, like, that, it was, like, 2007. Like, hardly anybody knew what dubstep was. It was very underground at the time. And I think only people in UK, I think it was birthed in the UK, so don't correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And I just love everything about the song. It's just, I love the dubstep wobble in there. And also, Peace of Me had little elements of dubstep as well, which I forgot to mention earlier. But it does have little certain elements in there. Because um, Bloodshot and Anvit were really, really good, um, are really good producers. So I think they kind of knew it was up and coming, so they decided to throw it in there because they were the ones that produced those two songs. So, um, really good job on them. And so far, this album's turned out really good, and I don't think I get a rating, so I'm going to give this an A. So it's a good song. So um, the next song we'll be listening to since the ad will stop will be Toy Soldier. Oh. 
another pretty good song. Um, I'll give this a B. Um, the only thing is, I, there was really no ad libs, which I am a sucker for. But I loved her attitude in the song. Um, and just, I like the military type B. That was really good as, as well. So, um, can't hate on it too much. But the only thing is, um, well, then ad libs pretty much. But um, I, li I do, like I said, I do love her attitude. So, it is a B song. So, um, the next song is Ooh Ooh Baby. Oh, wait, sorry. Just kidding, that's the song after Hot As Ice. I'm sorry, the next song is Hot As Ice. My bad. That was Hot As Ice. I'll give this song a uh, C. I didn't really like it that much, to be quite honest. Um, I don't like how her pitch is way elevated than I think it needs to be. Um, and some of the instrumentation and um, I just didn't, I didn't like that much. That's just me. Um, but there was definitely some good parts in there. I liked the, the very beginning. I liked the breakdown. That's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I give this a C, C minus. Um, but other than that, I mean, it is what it is. Um, it was produced by T-Pain, so there you go. <laughs> anyway, so the next song is, um, Ooh Ooh Baby. So let's listen to that. Another pretty decent song. I'll give this a B, B minus. My only thing is the intro was a little too long. Because, um, again, I heard the demo when it first came out. And it kind of, the first, um, after the giggle around the nine second mark, it kicked into the actual first verse. But then I don't know why they re it again. I don't know if that was just an error or what. Or they're trying to get different. But, um, I didn't really like it that, um, that part that much. And I feel like, um, there could have been a little bit more switch-ups. But I do like how 
So it's popping those high notes at the end. I really do like that a lot. So um, overall, pretty good song. And the next song will be Perfect Lover. Love, love, love the song so much. It's an A+. Plus. It is so freaking good. I love the beat. I love the lyrics. I love her inflection of the lyrics. Like she's, you can, throughout this entire record, you can tell she's been super confident throughout this entire record. And it definitely shows. I mean, it is so freaking good. And just the beat has, itself is so good. I like, usually I don't like it when they drop off the last ballot, like, I don't know, 25 seconds of the song, but this one works so good because there was a lot of switch up happening in that. And I really do love that a lot. So the next song is going to be Why Should I Be Sad? And this is the last song off the of standard, but we are doing the three bonus tracks and one of them's a remix. So we'll probably just jump around on that one. But um, the song's called Why I Should Be Sad. So let's listen to it. Uh, that was a pretty good song. I'll probably give this a B. Um, actually, I didn't like the breakdown that much, but everything else about the song was pretty decent. Um, Pharrell produced this, and it was a pretty decent record. There's just the breakdown I didn't kind of really like that much. And uh, the B, uh, I don't know. I just didn't gel with it that much. Um, but other than that, it was pretty good. It was mostly the, I didn't gel with that at the beginning, but as I started listening more and more. I kind of liked it a little bit better. Um, so, yeah. So, the next song will be Get Back. And it's probably one of my all-time favorite songs. So, let's listen to that.
Why this part? Another really good song. It's an A plus song. Um, so freaking good. I love the switch ups. I love the fade out. You know, there's no lyrics really. I still love that. I love the breakdown where they actually break it down and slow it down. I really do love that. And um, I just love everything about the song. I wish it was a single. I was so freaking good. I love like how she's saying like, if you can't take it, just get back. Just get back and just let me do my thing. And so, um, I just love this song so much. And the next song is going to be give me more the Junkie XL dub. And it was remixed by Junkie XL. For people who don't know. Yeah, that was that. I don't like it at all. This is like a borderline D slash F. I hate this remix. I'm sorry. I just don't like it at all. Um, could have been loads better. So the last song we're going to be listening to is Everybody. So let's listen, everybody. Uh. Love this part right here coming up. Well, if you can't tell, that was produced by JR. <laughs> As you heard probably five or six, seven times. Um, I would give this song a, um, I'll give this a B plus. My only issue is that. It's J -J JR. Like, I really need to hear that? No, not really. Once it's fine, but I don't need to hear it about two or three times, no. We know. Anyway, um, pretty good song. I do love the breakdown where she does like a mini rap. That's really good. Then she'll pop in some notes. And she was using her, um, I don't want to say her gut voice. She wasn't using her, she was, use, she was using her lower register. And it's, um, because one thing is from Britney until, and from Britney, the album on, she was mostly using her, um, head voice, her falsetto. And she wasn't really using her lower register. So, um, I like how she was use, at least using some of those little register notes in the song. So, that's one of the things I do like about the song. The beat's pretty good. I, it's definitely a sample, 
as J.R. Rodham definitely samples a lot of songs or he used to. I want to say the Eurythmics, and I, I forgot the name of the song. I could probably look it up super duper quick. Da, da, da. But um, anyway, the song is so freaking good. Um, I love the beat. I love how, yeah, it is the, the Eurythmics, and this, the song of Sweet Dreams are made of this. And I know I kind of threw my country song in there, and I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, but, so yeah, he does sample a lot of songs, but, um, this is a pretty good sample, so I'm not that mad about it, but, um, overall, the album, to me, gets a B, um, there's a couple songs I will for sure skip, and other than that, I really do like this album a lot, it's definitely a really good album, so I think a B is fair, so, it's because there's about two or three songs, mm, it has no business being there, to be honest. Unless they changed it up to where it's actually listenable. <laughs> for me, anyway. So anyway, that's going to do it for me. If you like this video, please give it a like. And comment down below on what you think of the album. Do you disagree? Agree with me? Do you, do you like this album? Do you hate this album? Let me know down below. And subscribe for more awesomeness from me. And I will see y'all in my next video. And I want y'all to have a very, very awesome day. Because this is going to take me forever to edit. So anyway, have an awesome day. Bye, everybody. Oh, 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 oh,